What's going on, guys? Welcome and welcome back to Dan Reacts. I'm Dan. This is my reaction channel. We are here for episode two of She-Hulk. Very excited to get into this one. Um, the last episode I thought was pretty good. I know some of you were saying in the comments that you weren't particul particularly like into the first episode. That's fair. You're entitled to that. I did kind of enjoy it. I kind of really liked the comedy style of the episode. And, you know, I like when Marvel knows how to be funny. I think that there are times where Marvel can come off cheesy when they're trying to be funny and then there are times where I think they they nail comedy pretty well and I thought that that first episode like had a very good mixture of tone between like comedy action and then also like I discussed like some emotion I really I I, I enjoyed it so I'm, I'm looking forward to this next episode um I can't wait to see what's going to be going on with this I, the last episode ended with her basically revealing to the world essentially that she is a hulk and so we're probably going to be dealing with the aftermath of that and you know the aftermath of whether or not she won her case which i'm assuming she's going to win her case also that woman was very interesting a lot of you cleared up in the comments who she is i found her to be probably to be honest with you the most cheesy part of the episode but even like i said it was cheesy but in a very comic booky way the music that was playing reminded me of like a very you know, 1990s cartoon, like Marvel cartoons, so I did enjoy it, um, but yeah, I'm very excited to get into this, I don't think we should waste any more precious time, I did hear that this episode's quite short, um, so that's kind of a bummer, but I also did find out that there are nine episodes in this show, which is great, because the last Marvel show that had nine episodes was WandaVision, and WandaVision was fantastic, so maybe She-Hulk will be fantastic as well, we'll see. Also, I did completely forget to watch the end credit scene. Not forget, I just didn't think there was going to be one. Uh, and a lot of you in the comments pointed out to me that there was one, so I did go back and watch it. It was pretty great, but now I know I'm going to be waiting <laughs> for every episode to make sure that there is no end credit scene. So, I won't be missing any more, if there are more. Alright, let's get right into this. She-Hulk, episode 2. Sketches show a stunning scene from the Metropolitan Courthouse today, where super-powered in... Yep, the world knows. I mean, of course, there's cameras in courtrooms. I knew that it was going to become, like, public knowledge immediately. Calling the green woman a hero who saved lives. We go live. And she probably won her case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this chick, pretty decent. Uh. Like a chick hulk. She hulk? Exactly. Oh my god, is that how the name just kind of gets coined? That's for somebody called She-Hulk, which can't possibly be what they're calling them. Just give them what they want. I mean, it makes sense that they're so, like, supportive and excited for her. I feel like in real life, she would be a lot more alarming to people, especially in America. But I feel like in this world, there's so many aliens and superhumans that it's just, like, another, another day. Give me both of these drinks for free because you're a superhero. Ugh, I'm not. But you could be an Avenger. Ooh. Do the Avengers offer health care? Are they even paid? Here's the thing, though. The question of the century. Jen, can I talk to you for a moment? Of course, sir. What is it? We didn't win the case. Since you saved the lives of the entire jury today, GLK and H argued that the jury was then biased. I'm... Sorry. Oh. I'm sorry too, boss. Oh shit, she's like She-Hulk level drunk now as a normal puny human. Jen, I'm sorry. I have to let you go. This makes you a liability for the DA's office. Oh, damn. That is not how I was expecting that to play out. First of all, she saved everybody. So I'm surprised that it was a mistrial. Like, she saved the judge's life. She saved the jury's life. And then also, uh, that's fucked up that she just got fired. But also, Hulk told you that was going to happen. You can't go be a lawyer. Like, you need to be an Avenger. We're not prepared to offer you the position at this time. We just can't take the risk of a sideshow. I feel so bad for her because of the grind she had to do to get to that point. But no, like, you are now an Avenger. Jen. Jen, what are you doing? Eye on the prize. Come on. Oh, I want to rewind it. That article literally said, man with metal claws attacks something. Are they talking about Wolverine? Mom, Dad, I'm here. 
Jen. You don't have to worry about getting fired. I already told everyone, so it won't be awkward. <laughs> Big news, so I got uh, promoted to manager over at the Best Buy. Oh my god, bad timing, dude, Chad. What do you need me to do, Dad? That was just an excuse to check in with you. How you doing, kiddo? Oh. It just sucks. You know, like, I thought I could keep this at bay for, I don't know how long. I hate that it got revealed in this way, like, in front of the whole world. That's usually how it happens. <laughs> this isn't even the first time we've had to deal with a Hulk in the family. And you didn't destroy a city. Huh! I mean, yeah, that's true. Maybe that's foreshadowing? The thing that you were dreading happened, but look, you're still standing. And now you get to keep moving on. That's good advice, I guess. Miss Walters, it's nice to see you again. I'd like to offer you a job. <laughs> Is this a joke? I'll never joke. Okay. I would like you to come work for us. To be head of a new division, yes. Take some time. I accept. Yeah, I mean... We'll only do it if I can hire my own paralegal. I truly do not care who your paralegal is. <laughs> He's like, I don't give a shit. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Fired and rehired all in five minutes. Good for you, Jen. What is this job? Welcome, Miss Walters. We are thrilled to have you join the team. I'm so happy to be here. I'll expect you to be at work and in court as the She-Hulk. Damn, she has to just become She-Hulk? God, is this why they hired me? Okay, this sucks. Now everyone around here is always going to think this is the only reason that I got the job. I get that. Like, she doesn't want to seem like she's, like... The daughter whose, you know, dad owns the company, basically. She got the job because she's a superhero. The only reason they hired me is because they wanted a Hulk lawyer. But look at everything it's getting us. I know. Are you kidding? Like, look at this freaking office. Oh, I'm, I'm Jennifer Walters. I made you guys a welcome basket. Oh. So I'm assuming we're going to see Daredevil in this. I can't wait to take on whatever case you want to assign Your to me. Your first case is the parole of Emil Blonsky. Also known as Abomination, Mr. Blonsky has been serving a sentence in an ultra-high security prison. I mean, I knew he was going to be in this, but whoa, whoa. I'm sorry, but I can't represent him, sir. I have a serious conflict of interest. This man tried to kill my cousin. Yeah. If you don't take the case, then you don't have a job here. Damn. Wow. At the very least, you should meet with a client before you decide. I mean, that's sticky. That is freaking sticky. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't come in like that. No superpowers inside. Welcome. So how does her clothing work? Does it, like, does she have two outfits on her? Does it, like, change size with her? Although we have taken every precaution, we cannot guarantee your safety. Do you accept these conditions? In the event of injury or death, please indicate who we should notify. It's that bad, huh? It's that bad, huh? Yeah, I mean, it is. Damn. Jennifer Walters. First off, Namaste. Namaste. You won't be seeing much of him about. I say, I've completely transformed myself. Does that mean that you can't turn into the abomination anymore, or you won't? I choose not to. I'm simply a meal now. Okay. Right. Interesting. I was a highly decorated soldier. I thought I, I, thought I was the good guy. You know? Captain Bloody America. Something. I don't believe him. Your cousin is held up as some kind of hero and I'm locked up in here. Where's the justice in that, Jen? I mean, he could be telling the truth, 
But also, I don't trust him. Look, I just want to move on with my life. Think you can help? Yeah, I'll think about it. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he seemed like he was being genuine, but also he's like, you know, he could be a master manipulator, he could be lying. He's got her in his phone as fuzzball. Um, listen, I got a new job. I have to take on Emil Blonsky as a client, and, and I, I... He's like, um... And, and I'm I not calling if... for an act here, but Blonsky did seem to have really good arguments. I think you're calling me to tell me you're taking the job. I'm calling you to tell you I'm taking the job. That, that fight was so many years ago, I'm a completely different person now. Literally. <laughs> Damn. I mean, yeah, literally, you are not the same person. Interesting. I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. That was a great little, uh, little line there, though. You coming to LA anytime soon? Yeah, probably not for a minute. Oh my god, that just gave me gooseies. Where the fuck is he going? Mr. Holloway, uh, I'd like to accept your offer. Glad to hear. Uh, you might want to take a look at the news right now. Yes. Oh god, what's on the news? Uh, have a good evening, sir. So far, there have been no statements made by Emil Blonsky's attorney. After having somehow escaped from prison. Oh! That sucks. Oh my god. So she still has to take him, even though that just happened. She's taking him now. That's, that's interesting. Okay, I'm gonna let it keep playing. Just in case there is a end credit scene, which I, I'm assuming there's going to be. Um, that was a pretty good episode. It went by very quick, obviously, but I, I enjoyed it. It was good. It was interesting to see how they integrated Abomination into this universe as the MCU. And that little play on, like, I'm a completely different person now. And then she, like, looks at the camera, literally. It's like, okay, that, that's, that's a very great way to do it. It's not, like, kind of pretending like he was the same person or, you know, they're... And it's, it's very much in the theme of, like, addressing the elephant in the room because that was very much something that was, like, consistently said in this episode. And it was, like, Marvel essentially addressing the elephant in the room. Like, we know that this was a different actor when we first made that movie. But this is why. Here it is. Um, her job seems pretty great, aside from the fact that she has to represent Abomination right now, and he allegedly just broke out and is participating in a fight club. Her office is freaking gorgeous. That whole building is so nice. Like, I, I would... I feel like I would put up with it just to be in that office, for sure. Like, it would be so great. Um, especially that view, the windows. Oh, God. The little mini fridge. Yeah, I would definitely put up with Abomination for that office, but that was really, really good. Um, I think there's an end credit scene starting right now. Okay. Do not touch these wires again. Oh, so when she was living with her parents that weekend, she just had to do all that shit for them? Glad you're staying hydrated, Dad, but this seems a little excessive. Oh, shit. I got to do that. Yeah, okay. I mean, if I had a She-Hulk as a daughter, I would absolutely be putting her to work as well. Like, I, I don't blame him. Um, that was interesting. Usually end credit scenes feel a little more important. That wasn't as important, but it's okay. I, I thought that was funny. Um, Hulk is on his way somewhere. That, that was crazy. That gave me chills. Like, I don't even know why it gave me chills or, like, where he's going or what. But just seeing him go somewhere, I was like, oh, shit, what's about to happen right now? That was really, really cool. Um... Yeah, pretty good episode. I'm very excited to keep going. I'm excited to see how where this all goes. Let me know in the comments what you thought of episode two. Did it get better? Do you still feel the same way? Did you also enjoy it? I want to hear your thoughts. Um, if you liked my video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date. We got uh, seven more episodes of She-Hulk, which is nice to hear that it's not going to be ending anytime soon. If there was only five more episodes or four more episodes after this, I would be feeling like, okay, I don't think I'm getting enough yet. 
But knowing that there's nine, I'm like, okay, cool. We still have a, we still have a while. So that's gonna conclude this video, though, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.